So how powerful are American nuclear weapons, and how many different kinds are there? More than you might realize, the U.S. military currently maintains at least seven different classes of nuclear warheads, and at least five different delivery methods for those warheads, divided into bombs and missiles. So let's run through America's nuclear weapons, how they're delivered, and how powerful they are, starting with the B-61 class of bomb. Now, these nuclear gravity bombs actually come in various iterations, all of which are being replaced by the B-61 TAC-12, which is a dial-a-yield weapon capable of producing a nuclear blast as small as just 0.3 kilotons, or as large as 340 kilotons, or about 17 times the destructive power of the atomic bomb dropped on Hiroshima. Though it is worth noting that the U.S. recently announced the production of a new B-61-class nuclear gravity bomb, the B-61 TAC-13, with a 360 kiloton yield. Now, these bombs can be delivered by the B-2 Spirit, as well as a variety of fighter aircraft, like the F-A-18 Super Hornet, at least at one point, the F-15E Strike, Eagle, the F-16, and the F-35A. But believe it or not, America's biggest nuclear weapon is also a bomb, the B-83 nuclear gravity bomb. Now, this weapon has a maximum destructive capacity of 1.2 megatons, or around 1,200 kilotons, and the primary means of delivery for these massive weapons is the B-2 Spirit stealth bomber. But that's not the only way American aircraft can deliver nuclear Armageddon, because the B-52 Stratofortress is also equipped to deploy AGM-86B nuclear air-launched cruise missiles, which each carry a W-80 nuclear warhead on board with a maximum destructive yield of around 150 kilotons. And these missiles have a range of more than 1,500 miles, allowing the B-52 to launch them from well outside the reach of enemy air defenses or even combat air patrols. And that just about does it for the airborne leg of the nuclear triad, so now let's move on to the U.S. Navy's Ohio-class ballistic missile submarines, which actually represent the majority of America's deployed nuclear firepower. Now, the U.S. Navy operates 14 Ohio-class boomers, as they're called, that carry nuclear weapons. Each is capable of carrying as many as 24 Trident II submarine-launched ballistic missiles, though they actually usually only carry 20. And each of those 20 Trident II SLBMs is capable of carrying up to eight W-76 100 kiloton warheads or eight W-88 455 kiloton warheads, each in its own multiple independent reentry vehicle, allowing them to engage separate targets. And believe it or not, even that is a reduction because these Trident IIs used to be able to carry up to 12 separate warheads apiece. And what that means is a single Ohio-class ballistic missile submarine regularly carries enough warheads to be considered the eighth largest nuclear power in the world all on its own, and is capable of carrying enough warheads to be the fifth or sixth largest nuclear power if the U.S. ever decided to go ham with its Trident IIs. And then, of course, we have the land-based leg of America's nuclear triad, represented by some 400 Minuteman III intercontinental ballistic missiles, each with a range of over 8,000 miles and the ability to carry as many as three separate 350 kiloton warheads. Though it appears all of America's deployed Minuteman III's are equipped with only a single 475 kiloton warhead. All told, the U.S. nuclear arsenal includes some 5,224 separate nuclear warheads, though the U.S. only has around 1,770 deployed at any given time, with the rest stockpiled in case of a rainy day. And if America's biggest nuclear weapon, the 1.2 megaton B-83 nuclear gravity bomb, seems awfully powerful to you, you should know that... Russia's latest intercontinental ballistic missile, the RS-28 Sarmat, has a disclosed maximum yield of 50 megatons, or about 102 times the destructive power of an American Minuteman III ICBM. Talk about some Bond villain stuff. 